Yo, yo, yo. What up? Welcome to the Bonecast episode motherfucking 17 in this bitch. Once again, <laughs> in this bitch. Uh, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Fucking uh, episode 17, man. Still going. Still going. Fucking awesome. Almost done with the new year. I mean, almost done with the decade. <laughs> Uh, almost done with fucking the first season of the Bonecast. Uh, almost done with this decade. Almost time for Christmas and the holidays and all that shit. Fucking awesome, man. Fucking awesome. Uh, kick ass. You know what I'm saying? Fucking kick ass. We're, we're going. We're keeping it moving. Thanks to the sponsors. And this bitch fucking shout out to the motherfucking sponsors once again. If you don't know, which you should by now, go to theboncast.com, click on sponsor. You'll be able to sponsor every single fucking episode for starting at just five bucks. Uh, you get you get mad hookups, you get shout outs uh, on every episode. There's a uh, there's several different tiers. You get Twitter shout outs, you get Instagram shout outs, uh, cameo style video from me posted on my Instagram stories at B O N E Z A and B. Uh, still images, promote your shows, promote your events, uh, whatever you got going, man. Your websites, your fucking social medias, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your music videos. It's all there for you. It's all explained. It's a Patreon run sponsorship. So uh, you get mad hookups. Plus, I'm posting special images and behind the scenes shit um, starting today at patreon.com slash theboncast or theboncast.com and click on sponsor. And uh, only the sponsors get to see these images and videos and all that freshness. So go check it out. Hook it up. Sponsor the Bonecast. Uh, it helps us out incredibly. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to the motherfucking sponsors. And uh, they're all longtime sponsors at this point, man. Uh, Andrew B., my dog, thank you once again. Uh, Lisa G., thank you. Homegirl, once again. Say what's up to the fam for me. Uh, Brian and Holly Teeters, thank y'all once again. Can't thank y'all enough, man. Y'all the shit. The Teeters fam in the house. DJ Matt Hatter, thanks, homie. Appreciate it. And Matt Bogner, man. Thank you so much for sponsoring. Matt, you the shit, dog. All of y'all are the shit, man. You're the reason that, uh, this bone cast is still going. And, uh,. Can't thank y'all enough, man. I just can't thank y'all enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Plus, they're getting hookups, shout outs, fucking uh, exclusives. You know what I'm saying? All that freshness. Go to bonecast.com, click on sponsor, get yourself a sponsorship. Uh, you get hooked up, the bonecast keeps on moving, and uh, here we are, man. Episode 17. We got two more episodes. In this year of the decade, uh, the Christmas special and the New Year's Eve special, I got a super dope guest for the Christmas special and a super dope guest for the New Year's Eve special with exclusive news from both guests. Exclusive freshness. Bomb dropping freshness. It's going to be dope. So yeah, keep on tuning in, man. Um, uh... You know, we're starting to do mostly Wednesdays these days. <laughs> uh, Tuesday, Tuesdays was working out, but uh, we get more views on Wednesdays. We get more views on Wednesdays. More people are home. I don't know what it is about Tuesdays, but um, it's just, I mean, it's working. It's just working better on Wednesdays. So my plan is just to do it, you know, every week, Tuesday slash Wednesday. And... Uh, We'll still do about 7, uh, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We might we might air it a little earlier. I don't know. We're still testing the waters, so I don't know. We're still testing the waters on, on everything. So 
bear with me and uh thank you for for staying tuned and sponsoring and donating oh donations you can donate at theboncast.com if you don't want to get a sponsorship and uh, get shouted out you can still donate and uh money goes right back into the boncast and we get fucking better equipment you know better guests uh all that freshness we keep on rolling you know what i'm saying so super fucking appreciate it and you can get merch there um donations it can either be by uh credit card debit card paypal cash app all that good shit um so yeah just go to theboncast.com man the website theboncast.com and you get all your hookups also starting yesterday uh, I've partnered up, the Bonecast has partnered up with Amazon, so all kinds of freshness is coming from that shit, um, I'm super excited for it, uh, you can get free trials of Amazon Prime, um, Amazon Music, uh, Kindle Books, all that good shit, um, and you could go shop at my official Amazon store, Official. Amazon store and uh, buy all kinds of products uh, from that I personally recommend that I personally put on there you know what I'm saying they're all just Amazon products you can get from Amazon but if you shop from the store I get a commission and you get your same old Amazon products and sign up for the fucking uh, free try out Amazon Prime you get free shipping Free two-day shipping or whatever. Fucking all kinds of freshness, man. Just go check it out. The links are at the very top of the page at theboncast.com. Sign up for a free trial on Amazon Prime right now and uh, get hooked up. Plus, as soon as you sign up and you get free trial for Amazon Prime through my link at theboncast.com, you can go watch the Astronomicon documentary for free. All kinds of free shit. Prime video is the shit. I got it at home. It's fucking awesome. Uh, All kinds of fresh shows on there, fresh movies. And, uh, you know, it's included in the Prime membership. And you get a free 30 day trial. It's fucking super dope. And uh, all through the Bonecast. So thanks to Amazon for that. And thanks to y'all for keeping the Bonecast running and getting free hookups like that. Super fucking dope. (laughs) Bonecast.com. It's beginning, man. It's beginning to get bigger and better and fresher. I got a lot of fucking notes today, man. Um, But mostly, mostly is about movies coming out in 2020 and 2021. Actually, some of them don't come out until 2022, but I want to talk about all of them because there's mad fucking freshness coming out. Mad fucking freshness coming out. And, uh... I'm super excited for damn near every single title on my list. So we're going to be talking about that a lot today. Um, uh, let's see, what else? What else? Uh, some, some, some gaming shit we're going to be talking about. Some new Netflix shit we're going to be talking about. Rick and Morty, of course, because it's my favorite shit ever. And it's fucking hilarious. And uh, yeah, mostly movies today, man. But... Uh, it's super fucking dope because I got a long list of movies that you might not even know that were coming out. And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned, man. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a good episode, as usual. Uh, we got the fat ass chilling with us, I guess. He's being such an asshole today, but, you know, what's new? Um, all kinds of shit, man. So let's get into it. Let's get fucking into it. Uh, so yeah, we talked about Amazon. That shit's super dope, man. If you're not already a Prime member, Amazon Prime member, uh, go sign up for the free trial, man. You don't have to fucking keep it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want to, which I do, you know, because it's dope. But, uh, go sign up for the free trial through my link at theboncast.com and, uh, at least try it out. You know what I'm saying? You can cancel anytime, all that good shit. Bonecast, TheBoneCast.com And uh, get your hookups, man Fucking merch, fucking sponsorships, donations, all that shit 
and a brand new fucking Amazon store. It's so dope because I get to pick out all these products that I like. And, and you know, you're gonna buy if you're gonna buy from Amazon, you might as well do it through my link and we all get fucking benefits. You know what I'm saying? It's it's super fucking dope. Plus, it's all pertaining to the bone cast. Everything on there has something to do with the bone cast. You know what I'm saying? So uh it's not like I'm trying to sell y'all on Amazon shit for no fucking reason. It's all shit that pertains to the bone cast. Bunch of Rick and Morty stuff. Uh, Funko Pops, if you guys collect Funko Pops, there's a whole section of fucking Funko shit that you can buy through my links on uh, theboneCast.com and click on that uh, second banner there. Um, there's also other links for it, but the easiest way to get there is just go to theboneCast.com and you'll see the banner right there. And uh, so yeah, uh, let's get into it. Rick and Morty, of course. Uh, their last episode was super fucking funny. I, I'm not sure if they're doing, uh, cause I hear there's only five episodes in the half season. They're doing a half season, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't seen it mentioned yet that that was the last episode for this season. So I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up, but, uh, it's fucking hilarious. And I know there's 10 episodes in this season. But they're doing the half seasons, like like The Walking Dead and all the big shows, too. You know, so the networks can get their fucking, you know, uh, watch out, watch time, you know, live viewer count up. And they can sell that to their advertising companies and all that shit, so. Sucks for us fans, because we only get to see half of a fucking season at a time, but. Regardless... Rick and Morty's fucking hilarious. And if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend Oh man. Uh, super fucking funny. I only prop it and promote it so much because it's the funniest shit to me. I'm, I'm the fucking adult comedy and adult animation. Off the fucking hook, man. That and Family Guy. Family Guy fucking... I don't have that even written down because I got so many movies to talk about. But, uh... The Christmas episode was dope. Oh shit, and South Park's Christmas special? Christmas special, Tegrity <laughs> was fucking awesome too, man. So fucking funny. My son watched it before me and he was like, oh, it's ruthless. <laughs> Super ruthless. But, uh, you know, he's seen worse on fucking YouTube. I'm not worried about it. Plus, he's 15, you know? I, was, I saw way worse shit by the time I was 15, so. Anyway, super fucking funny. Uh, I'm gonna talk about gaming before I get into the movies. Because everything else, literally everything else on my list is movies. Um, so Xbox Series X is the official fucking name of the new Xbox console. It looks dope to me. My son was like, whatever. You know, wasn't impressive, but uh, I still think we might get one eventually. We're not gonna get one right away because that's that's for all the people who who test out the bugs and shit and all the complainers, you know. And I'm sure it's gonna be a thousand dollars or more, you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, that shit just ain't worth it to me, man. Honestly, you know. The fucking, uh, the price will drop after the first couple months, and, uh, all the bugs will be fixed after the first couple months, and, uh, that will be the time to pick one up, but, uh, as of right now, we're a straight PC, uh, Xbox One X, fucking Nintendo family. <laughs> some Sega, you know, some old school ass, uh, uh, emulators here and there you know what I'm saying like we fuck with the uh, Raspberry Pi sometimes but uh, mostly Switch Xbox and PC up in here um, PlayStation 5 I don't know if the fucking 5 images are official but what I've seen as the PlayStation 5 images is what the console looks like it looks crazy it looks like a straight up uh dehumidifier or something <laughs> you know what I'm saying 
or a DVD player slash barbecue grill. <laughs> it looks crazy, man, but I don't know if that's the official console or not, but uh, so we might get one of those too, I'm not sure. Like I said, buying it first time for when it first comes out is not our thing because it's going to be super overpriced and super buggy and uh you know we're just gonna wait a while we might get a ps4 though because those are like 200 bucks right now which is cheap for a ps4 and uh we don't have one yet so uh i mean last last playstation i had was playstation 3 and that was years ago but uh don't get me wrong, I'm still I still like PlayStation, and we're not strictly fucking Xbox heads over here. I'll still rock PlayStation, but uh, we've just been on Xbox forever and a day, and have all the games besides Spider-Man that would be on PlayStation. Anyway, it's fucking dope. Can't wait for these uh, new consoles to come out, man. The console wars are back, yo. That's crazy. Uh, speaking of wars, the, you know, streaming wars are in full force right now, but we're not even going to talk about that on this episode, except for the fact that it's super fucking crazy, and, uh, I still have stream more shirts available on the bonecast.com merch, merch store, and, uh, there will be more, too. For all you Disney Plus fans, I got a super fresh, excuse me, super fresh t-shirt about to drop on there, and uh, that'll be dope. Speaking of merch, uh, let me know in the comments what kind of merch you want to see too, and uh, I'll do my best to get all this shit up. As a matter of fact, I'm working on a new store uh, layout to where we can have more shit and more options, more colors. Like hundreds and hundreds of colors. And uh, just way more shit, way more freshness, more options for y'all. And uh, it'll be dope. So let me know in the comments what kind of merch you want to see, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and before we get into this long ass three page list of movies that we gotta talk about, uh, I also wanna mention new music coming soon. You'll see all that uh, being announced shortly. I mean, I kind of just announced it, but everybody knows new music is coming soon from every artist unless they stopped making music. So so it's kind of obvious new music coming soon, but uh, I've been recording, I've been working hard, and uh, trying to get this new shit out to y'all, and uh, making some beats, you know, working on my video editing skills, because uh, I want to shoot my own music video, maybe for, I don't know for who, be me or A&B or Young Wicked or, or M&E artists or other artists, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, yeah, working on that shit too, it's gonna be dope. So yeah, let's get into this fucking movie list, man. Um, there's so many, there's so many. But they're all not out yet. Uh, first of all, um, Star Wars, man. No one comes out Friday. I'm hearing great things about it. I'm also hearing bad things about it. But I expected that because Star Wars fans are kind of like juggalos. To where they are, you can't please them all. <laughs> you can't keep everybody happy. And let that be a lesson to everybody in every industry. You can never keep everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be a batch of people that hate something that you do. You know what I'm saying? So just do what you want to do and make what you want to make. And, uh, you know, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. As long as you're happy doing what you want to do, fucking keep it going, man. Uh, and I only say that so much now because I'm seeing a lot of hate on Star Wars and J.J. Abrams and, and the plot and the ending and it's not even out yet. It's like, come on, man, just go see the movie, yo. Quit complaining. 
Don't complain on the internet. See, that was... I, I fucked up, too. I get on Twitter a lot and bitch about a lot of things. But, uh... You know, that are important to the world, like rising insulin prices and corruption and greed and shit like that. But, which is good. It's good to have a voice, you know, especially on the internet. You can fucking say it to anybody you want, you know what I'm saying? But in the same sense, on the same fucking hand, using the same flanges, <laughs> don't go fucking pissing people off for no reason and don't, you know publicly hate on something just because it doesn't make you happy you know what i'm saying looking at you star wars fans that hate on the movie that isn't even out yet <laughs> i think it'll be dope my son's going to see it sunday with his homies and uh i probably will too i'll probably wait though until uh he wants to see it again or i'll go with one of my homies or some shit because my daughter does not want to see it she wants nothing to do with Star Wars except for Baby Yoda. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fucking, oh, fucking, yeah, happy fucking holidays to everybody. You notice I'm rocking the, the old Santa ball hat. <laughs> uh, the fucking Christmas show I just did in Dallas, Fort Worth, the other day was super dope. Uh, just a quick shout out to everybody. Nairo the Madman, Insane Poetry. My boy rode with me, fucking traveled with me, kicked it with me, we, we fucking chilled all night, we conquered that fucking stage, it was super dope. Um, shout out to Class and his wife for, for all the hospitality they showed us, and Class's set was dope, and, and Buckshot headlining and schooling a, a, a set with Class 2 and, and schooling the show. And shout out to the rail club, except for kicking everybody out. <laughs> they kicked out a bunch of people for some reason. And, uh, uh, fucking Joker C, uh, Creature Click, Sick Noise. Um, I'm trying to remember everybody to shout them out, man. Fucking, uh, God, my memory is just horrible. Anyway, I made a big post about it on Instagram. Go to my Instagram, at B-O-N-E-Z-A-N-B, and you'll see all my thank yous and shout outs and all that shit. It was a great fucking show. I had a great time. And I don't normally do solo shows lately. <laughs> but uh, it was great. It was fucking a great time. I rocked it. It was super fun. And uh, I'll probably end up posting more pictures on Instagram too. So go follow me on social media. At B O N E Z A and B across all the fucking platforms, you'll find me there, and uh, yeah, it was super fucking dope. So let's get into it. The 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 fucking movie part portion here. Um, Star Wars, of course. Uh, so so these movies are coming out in 2020. Um, and we'll talk briefly about each one. Um. As much as I can, because some of them I don't know shit about, but uh, I'm really fucking excited for every single movie on this list. And so this is a, it's some help, man. I'm such a fucking movie head. Uh, I can't wait for all these shits, man. I can't wait. The most recent one, though, um, is out already. Before we get into the 2020 list, of course. Real quick, just wanted to mention. Six Underground, uh, fucking Deadpool guy, Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> uh, it's a new Netflix movie, it's super fucking dope, highly recommendo, you like the action shit, you like the comedy shit, cause he's, you know, he's Ryan Reynolds, he's Deadpool comedy in every fucking movie he's ever in, and, uh, super fucking funny, one of my favorite actors, he's, he's super dope. And the movie was great. I just turned it on to have background because I didn't think it'd be that fresh and was fucking sucked in immediately. It was a great fucking movie. Uh, all the actors were great actors. None of it was cheesy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I won't say that. There was one or two parts that were like, oh, that's fucking cheesy. But regardless of that, 99% of the movie was great. And if you watch it in like 4K, it's even better. 
It's directed by that fucking super ninja who made the Transformer movies. God, I can't remember his fucking name. Right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, great fucking movie. Uh, highly recommend it, man. Six Underground on Netflix. Super dope. All right, so let's get into these 2020 movies coming up. Uh, they're not in any order, I don't believe. Um, well, maybe they are. No, they're not. They're not in order, but they're all fucking dope. So first one on the list is Sonic. Sonic fucking Hedgehog, man. I'm I'm a big Sega fan. I grew up on the Genesis. Uh, I had a fucking Sega CD, even. I had a Game Gear for years and years. Sega was the fucking pimp shit. If, if you say you never played Sega games, you're bullshit. <laughs> if you're over the age of 20, you played a fucking Sega game and you enjoyed it. <laughs> <coughs> Regardless though, the Sonic movie's crazy because they first were, everybody knows they first released that first trailer and everybody hated on it. Cancel culture, got on the internet, and cried about it so much that they literally spent millions of dollars to re-render Sonic to look more like the game version slash cartoon version of Sonic. Which is crazy to me. Like, what? Whatever. Just put out the movie. But I'm not going to say that either because I'm happy they did what they did because it does, Sonic does look way fucking better now. But either way, I was gonna go pay to see the movie. You know what I'm saying? So, it's fucking dope. I can't wait to see it, man. Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Plus, it's got Jim Carrey playing Dr. Robotnik. Jim Carrey's one of the funniest motherfuckers alive, man. And, uh, it's great. The trailer reminds me, Dr. Robotnik in the trailer reminds me of Jim Carrey's old Fire Marshal Bill, almost. Like, uh, not not exactly, of course, but it's fucking funny, man. Can't wait for that shit. Sonic the fucking Hedgehog, man. And uh, the trailers look great. I can't wait for it. The only thing that doesn't look great to me is the main actor guy. Not the guy who voices Sonic, but the his homie in the movie. Um, he's in everything, and he's a good actor. But I'm just, I'm just saying they, they should have found somebody like, they got, they should have got another A-lister for that. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. They spent all their fucking money on digital effects and rendering and uh, Jim Carrey. So, you know, whatever. But I think it's going to be great. And no offense to that actor, dude, but he's, he'll be great too. He looks good in the trailer. Uh, Doolittle. <laughs> not. I think I talked about it last week. Robert Downey Jr. is the new Doctor Doolittle, and that's fucking dope. It's definitely a super family movie, which all the Doolittles were. But Robert fucking Downey Jr. Man, Iron Man, our uh, fucking millions of other roles. He's the shit. Great fucking actor. I can't wait to see Doolittle. And we probably won't see it in the theaters, honestly. Because, you know, the kids are too old for a kid movie. And we're not we're not 100% invested in going to the theaters to see that one. But uh, it still looks dope. I'll definitely, I'll definitely see it. Um, and, and RDJ, <laughs> he's awesome, man. He's funny in everything he does. Great fucking comedy. Even when he's not trying to be. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's just a great actor, man. Great fucking actor. So that'll be dope. Birds of Prey. Um, Harley Quinn movie. And a couple other uh, DC female characters. It looks incredible. It looks dope. Uh, I still haven't seen the Harley Quinn animated show on DC Universe, which I've fucking been dying to watch. I don't know why I haven't watched it yet. Probably just haven't had time, been so fucking busy. But, uh, um, it looks fucking dope. And the animated series looks fucking dope too. 
It's voiced by Kaylee Kuoko, I think is how you pronounce her name. So that's fucking awesome. But anyway, Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn, looks fucking incredible. Uh, like I said, I like every single movie on this list. I can't wait for all of them. We're definitely going to see that in theater. That'll be fresh. And the animated movie, or animated series, I mean, on DC Universe is all unedited, too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's saying fucking shit and piss and hell and all that shit. It's, <laughs> it's fucking great, man. Um, so we got, I can't wait for that. I, gotta, I, gotta, I think they're going to have on episode three or four already. And uh, on the animated series, so I got to do some catching up on that. But the movie, Harley Quinn movie, Birds of Prey, looks awesome. Um, speaking of, since it's, is it on my list? Uh, no. Oh, it is for 2021, but Suicide Squad. So we'll get into that. Can't fucking wait for that one either. I loved the first movie, man. So many people hated it. I loved it. But, like I said, like you all know, frequenters of the Bonecast, uh, I'm both Marvel and DC, big fan. Read comics when I was little, watched shows when I was growing up, and constantly watch movies now. So, <laughs> uh, super fucking dope. Can't wait for those. So, there's a new Top Gun movie coming out. I know some of you youngins don't know what the fuck that is, but that's pretty fucking dope to me, man, being an 80s baby, Top Gun movie coming out, like, I don't know if it's a re- you know, I need to look more into that one, because I don't have much information on it, but Top Gun is a dope movie, <laughs> and uh, the remake should be fucking awesome, is it a remake? I don't know. Top Gun 2, 3, 4, whatever number it may be, it, it's going to be dope. And uh, I can't fucking wait to see it or see more about it. All I've seen is the trailer. So one trailer, I think it was even a teaser. So I'm going to have to check out that shit. But uh, fucking Top Gun movie, man. <laughs> That's crazy. I love how they bring back old school movies. I don't know about y'all. But I love how they're bringing back old school movies and remaking them. You know what I'm saying? I even liked the the remake of the Ghostbusters. Which is also on my list. <laughs> the new remake of... of or re... Hashed, I guess you call it. It's a sequel. It's a fucking sequel. Just stop putting re on everything and call it a sequel. <laughs> I just hope... That on this new one, uh, they bring a Bill Murray cameo in it. Because they had him in fucking the female Ghostbusters, which was awesome. And, wait, did he die in that one? I don't know, I can't spoil it. Even if he did, I won't spoil it for you. But uh, they need to bring Bill Murray back. Because <laughs> Bill Murray is definitely top three favorite actors slash comedians of all time. In my book, and anything he's in, I'm fucking paying for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've always wanted to get him in a music video, too. Just a cameo. You know what I'm saying? Just He's just so fucking funny. He doesn't even have to say anything. Just the look on his face is funny. Uh, Marvel's Black Widow looks fucking awesome. My son wasn't too impressed with it. He was like, meh. But, uh... I'm definitely going to see it. I can't fucking wait for it. Um, Black Widow's a dope story. I don't ever read any comics about Black Widow except Avengers. And, uh, old Natasha, man. <laughs> but this one looks dope. It's got the dude from Stranger Things. What's his fucking name in it? That's going to be dope. Playing, uh, God, why can't I remember his name? Once again, memory shot to hell. But uh, regardless, it looks dope. I can't wait. It's like the uh, Russian Captain in America. I just can't remember his name, damn it. Anyway, it's going to be dope. And of course, fucking internet's bitching about it. But like I said, you can't keep everybody happy. Just put the movie out. If people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. 
But uh, it's Marvel. You're gonna get millions and millions of dollars on it no matter what you do with the story. And uh, I know they won't follow the comics 100%, but uh, it's still gonna be dope. I'm, I'm excited for that one. Black Widow. Marvel in the motherfucking house. Godzilla vs. Kong's coming out. They postponed it to like November of next year. Maybe even 2021. But I have it on my 2020 list. So as far as I know, it's coming out late 2020. Because they postponed it. It was supposed to come out like next month or something. But um, That's going to be fucking awesome. I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Uh, you know what? I think I talked about that on the last podcast too. Either way, can't wait. I'm a King Kong fan and a Godzilla fan. Put them together. You're making movie magic. (laughs) And all the Godzilla verse, whatever, you know, insert monster here. Those were all fucking great movies too back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I just can't wait for any of it. And the King of Monsters Godzilla was dope. I know some people hated that too, but like I said, the internet hates everything, man. Uh, There's a new James Bond movie coming out. I think I talked about that last time, so we're not going to dive into that too much, but I'm a huge James Bond fan, as you guys know. And uh, not not huge, but I like the James Bond movies. Um, And the games, obviously. GoldenEye was my favorite N64 game. Uh, we talked about Ghostbusters. Fucking Bill and Ted. New Bill and Ted movie coming out. Oh, I forgot to write down the title. I just saw the fucking title of the movie this morning. Take it back or something? Fuck, I don't remember. All you need to know is Bill and Ted, though. Bill and Ted movie coming out. Keanu Reeves is the fucking ultra pimp shit. Uh, he shaved his fucking weird beard for it, so that's dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking, uh, I just watched uh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey the other day, too. And it just came on. Like, what the fuck was I watching? Oh, Hulu. I had Hulu on. And it auto-played Bill and Ted for me. I was just like, yes, fucking perfect. <laughs> Those were fucking great movies. So cheesy back in the day. Straight up 90s cheese, man. But uh, I kind of like that shit, man. It's just comedy. You know what I'm saying? You don't like comedy. You're a fucking thorn in a bush. You're a thorn in a fucking bush. You hear me? Um, Venom 2, which I had no idea was coming out in 2020. I knew they were making it. But... And Venom was my favorite comic book uh, character slash villain slash anti-hero. I don't know what you would call him. But either way, Venom was my favorite in the comic book days. I can draw Venom, like, by memory from the comic book days because I, excuse me, read so many fucking Venom comics. And Spider-Man. Speaking of, I hope they bring Spider-Man into the series, into the movie universe, because what the fuck, what the fuck is Venom without Spider-Man? But the problem is with the first Venom movie that left Spider-Man out and gave Venom a different origin story than the comics, so I don't think they'll incorporate Spider-Man. Maybe, maybe a little bit, but they definitely are incorporating Carnage. Which was also another favorite character of mine. The Venom series are going to be awesome. I can't wait for Venom 2. Going to be fucking dope. Uh, what's his name? The actor dude. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. I need some fucking Ginkgo Biloba. Or whatever the fuck it's called. And memory fucking shot or something something to boost my shit man Marvel's Eternals is coming out 2020 apparently 
I didn't even think they're even done filming that yet. So I don't know if it'll actually come out in 2020, but it's slated for 2020, so that's dope. Uh, you got those weird ass shirtless pictures of Homeboy popping out and like, you know, woohoo, cool, he's got muscles now, but whatever. I don't give a shit about that. He's a comedian, so it's gonna be fucking funny. There's gonna be comedy in it. So I can't wait for uh, Eternals, man. That's, that's gonna be an adult Marvel series. Um, movie, that is. Um, yeah, Eternals. Is there another Marvel? Oh, no. Wonder Woman. That's DC. Wonder Woman 84. I talked about that already because I watched the trailer last week, but uh, fucking awesome. I was a huge fan of the Wonder Woman first movie. Uh, incredible fucking looking graphics, CGI, and all that shit. And Gal Gadot is hot as fuck. And, uh, uh, it just looks dope. Plus, it's based in 1984. That's when I was born. <laughs> so, got some personal value to it. It's gonna be dope. Can't wait for that. Um, Disney's got Onward and Soul coming out, which is super dope. Onward is a Pixar, and Soul is just strictly Disney animation, but they both look great. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the trailer for Onward, it's fucking. You know, it's a kids movie, of course, Pixar, but it it looks dope. It's uh, it kind of reminds me of Never Ending Story ish, and even Lord of the Rings almost, but animated. You know, just like folklore type fucking Pixar movie. It looks fucking dope. Kids will dig it. I'm sure it'll have adult comedy in there, just like all Pixar does, you know, so fucking awesome, can't wait for that. Um, Soul looks dope too. Uh, I haven't seen much about that, I only saw the teaser, but uh, it looks crazy fresh. I think the dude, I don't know, I don't know, I can't speak about on it that much, because whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, it looks dope, is all I can say. It looks awesome. Animation fan right here, so I'm gonna be watching it. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, and also, speaking of animation, and I had no idea this was happening. So fucking dope, man. My childhood is coming back. <laughs> Nostalgia to the fullest. A Tom and Jerry movie. I know they've done Tom and Jerry movies in the past, but this is gonna be huge. A giant fucking production. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be 3D animation like all the shit is these days. But Tom and Jerry, man, Tom and fucking Jerry, man, Tom the Cat was like the freshest fucking ninja to me. You know what I'm saying? Even though he always lost and got his ass kicked and shit, he was just so fresh. Jerry too, man, and, uh, um, motherfucking Speedy Gonzalez, I hope they incorporate him, and Slowpoke Rodriguez, I'm gonna get a Slowpoke tattoo, man, shout out to, uh, uh, Chesty Scrubby Art, fuck, I can't remember his actual Instagram name, but shout out to him, man, he's the shit, he did up, uh, his own rendering of a Bones dub slash Slowpoke Rodriguez image. It's so dope. I'm gonna repost it on Instagram today. Maybe. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Eventually I'll repost it so you guys can see, but I'm gonna get that tatted. Cause it's so dope. Slowpoke Slowpoke was my shit back in the day. Uh he was only on a couple episodes here and there, but fucking funny, man. Still, to this day, when I see episodes with him in it once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Fucking just cracks me up. So, and always just blasted fools. He was the gangster of the Tom and Jerry, you know, what was it? Hanna-Barbera, I think. Anyway, he was a gangster, man. He'd just shoot a cat in the face. He didn't give a fuck. 
and he wasn't speedy because he was slowpoke, you know what I'm saying? Because he didn't give a fuck. He just, he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, be cruising. And if the cat swooped him up, he'd be like, bam, to the face. Oh, it's so fucking funny. And you know, that it's fucking 2020. They're not going to put too much cartoon violence in it, of course, because of the PC culture and shit, but... I think it'll be dope. I'm super excited for that Tom and fucking Jerry movie, man. And that's the list for 2020, man. What a fucking awesome list, though. Every single movie I will gladly go pay to see. Super great, man. Super fucking great. Oh, I just realized I'm like showing you the notes and shit. It doesn't matter. You can see what I got. Uh, so yeah, I guess let's get into the 2021 movies. Which, I know, it's kind of weird to talk about movies that aren't coming out for a whole nother year. Some a year and a half. Some almost two years away. But the list is awesome. And uh, I'm excited for all of these too, man. And number one, especially. Number one, especially. Mortal Kombat, man. I've been waiting so long for them to do another Mortal Kombat movie. I was a huge, huge Mortal Kombat fan growing up. Loved the movies. Loved the internet series, which was supposed to be a fucking TV show. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but it was great. I'm sure you could look it up on YouTube. But uh, maybe I'll post links about it or something. But uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Mortal fucking Kombat, yo. Uh, so it's slated for 2021. I'm pretty sure they're done filming. Um, you know what I don't have written on here? Is Ninja Turtles, man. They're doing a new Ninja Turtles movie. And I I probably don't have it written on here because it probably won't come out till 2022. But, uh... New Ninja fucking Turtles movie. That's gonna be dope. This this is what I'm saying, man. My whole childhood's coming back as new movies so I can school my kids and the new generation on this shit. Oh, great. I just heard the fucking leaf blowers, man. Yo, most irritating shit in the world is living in an apartment. <laughs> uh, we, we're moving out in a couple months to a house, but... Uh, and I've lived in several houses before, you know, just in case you didn't know. But I moved to an apartment when I got to Houston. And, uh, man, the most irritating shit in the world. I got to deal with loud fucking stompy stomp neighbors and the leaf blowers that come by every fucking day. No joke. No joke. Every day. I've lived in apartments before and they come by once a week and then it's totally cool. That's your job. You know, gotta keep the shit clean, grass cut, and all that shit. I'm way off topic right now, but you can probably hear it in the background since the microphone's so dope and shit, and that sucks. So, we'll try to get through it. Anyway, why the fuck do they come by every day? too like every day really they're just milking this place man anyway 2021 movies man mortal kombat uh there's one called shang chi i don't know i don't know what it's about but uh it was on the list so i wrote it down and oh i got oh i think it's a horror movie I have a whole list of horror movies coming out in 2020 and 2021 too, and uh, we'll talk about those after I get through the first list. But uh, yeah, there's a new Fast and the Furious movie coming out. When are they gonna fucking end the Fast and the Furious movies, man? Like really, you need 10? 10 of them? (laughs) I don't even think there's that many Freddy Krueger movies, man. Which there should be. Uh, there should be a new fucking Freddy Krueger movie. Like a real super fucking scary one. Like, like 
Jordan Peele. Ooh, yeah, Jordan Peele should direct a new fucking Nightmare on Elm Street. That would be dope as shit. Some, uh, some new age, what would you call that? New age fucking spin to an old classic. You know what I'm saying? Not a remake, but a new spin, spin on it. And, uh, I just think that would be dope. Um, I'm surprised they're not yet. They probably are, I just don't know about it. So yeah, a new Fast and the Furious kind of sounds lame to me. I haven't even seen the last three or four of them. But, uh, Doctor Strange 2, Marvel coming with the fucking fire. Uh, Doctor Strange, the first movie was super dope. And I hear Doctor Strange 2 is going to be more horror based. So that's fucking dope. Can't wait to see that shit. Have not seen trailers or anything about it except for the fact that it's going to be horror style. And I could be mistaken too. But, uh, you know, this is all purely speculation from the internet. But um, definitely going to see that. Can't wait for Doctor Strange, man. Old Benedict, Cumberbatchy, <laughs> Cumberbuns. <laughs> okay, so Matrix 4 and John Wick 4. The new Matrix movie and the new John Wick movie, both Keanu Reeves, are coming out on the same day. May 21st, I think it said. Yeah, no, it just says May. Same day. May 2021. So congrats fucking uh, Keanu Reeves, man. Two blockbuster hits coming out on the same day. That is great, man. I hope he's got stock. <laughs> I hope he's got a back end in his contract and didn't just take a flat fee because those, those movies are going to make a lot of fucking money. On opening day, too. Whew. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Matrix movies, but I still watched the fuck out of them. And they were pretty good to me. You know, kind of cheesy. That's probably why I wasn't the greatest fans of them. But, uh... They were dope, man. I'm a Matrix fan, and John Wick is fucking awesome. I love the fucking John Wick movies. Uh... You know, shoot 'em ups man. I'm not, I'm not all comedy. <laughs> I'm not all comedy fan. I like the action, you know what I'm saying? And uh, some dramas here and there, but uh, John Wick, man, the fucking, those movies are incredible. Every single one of them has been great so far. A lot of people hated on that last one, but it made millions, maybe even a billion. So fucking congrats Keanu, man. Matrix and John Wick on the same day. Both fourth uh, fucking movies, too, so, that's just mind-blowing, to have the work drive, to have the manager and agent of Keanu, has got to be an awesome fucking thing, man, you know, hit me up, whoever you are, I, I want an acting career, I want, it doesn't have to be big time, but I need a fucking acting agent, and, Keanu's dude is who I want because <laughs> he's got him working triple overtime and probably making beyond shitloads of money. Just banking. And he's in that new SpongeBob. Why the fuck isn't SpongeBob on my list? I don't know, but the new SpongeBob movie's coming out too. I'm pretty sure it's 2020. I talked about it on one of the other episodes. That one's gonna be dope. Me and the kids are huge SpongeBob fans because the uh, adult comedy in it is just as good as the children's comedy, man. Cracks me the fuck up. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Doctor Strange 2, Matrix 4, John Wick 4, Jurassic World 3, which is just speculation, but I saw it on the list on the internet and, uh, Dope. I'm fucking fan of the Jurassic Park movies, that's for sure. The last one was pretty good. Uh, the 
actor and actress Chris Pratt and mm, can't remember her name. Nope, can't do it. But she's a fucking hottie and she's an awesome actress. And and uh, Chris Pratt's one of my favorite Marvel or not, he's fucking hilarious. So uh, that'll be dope. Jurassic World plus the fucking CGI is getting better by the day it seems like some of these fucking movies that six underground was Michael Bay ah it came to me finally Michael Bay the director of six underground and all the transformers recent transformers super fucking dope man he's such a good fucking director and the ninjas in their uh in the CGI team the graphics team, all that shit. People who were doing all that shit, you know, I wish I could rattle off all their names just to give them props because they're fucking awesome. But like I said, CGI is getting better and better and better, so um, Jurassic World would be dope. Of course, the Batman comes out in 2021, and there's a lot of hate on that one on the internet too. But regardless, Batman's always been my favorite comic character. Um, mostly the villains <laughs> have been my favorite. Penguin, Joker, Riddler. The, uh, they're all my favorite. So the Batman's going to be fucking awesome. Regardless of Robert Pattinson being cast as the Batman. Because <laughs> some people just fucking hate that guy. Anyway, Batman's going to be fucking dope. Can't wait for that shit. Um... Indiana Jones 5, a new Indiana Jones movie's coming out. Super fucking awesome. Um, Harrison Ford, I hope they use him in most of it, because obviously he's Indiana Jones. I'm sure they're going to do some sort of reintroduction, reintroduction of uh, his kid or something, but I just hope he's part of it. Anyway, super excited about that. Space Jam 2, super fucking excited about that too. I was a huge fan of Space Jam back in the day, of course. Uh, I'm a big basketball fan, so that's going to be awesome. Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man fucking 3. I'm super excited about this one, obviously. <laughs> uh, Tom Holland. Great fucking actor. Uh, Spider-Man 3, man. Can't wait for that. Um, I hope they incorporate some sort of Venom in it. <laughs> like I said, when we were talking about Venom. Uh, so that's going to be dope. Um, MI7, which I assume, I just wrote it down as MI7. It could mean M17 or it could mean Mission Impossible 7, which I'm pretty sure that's what it means. That's fucking dope. Tom Cruise be schooling it just like Keanu, man. Uh, just constantly making movies. So that's dope. Uh, the Suicide Squad, of course, we already talked about it a little bit, but super excited for the Suicide Squad. Um, they should have just redid number two, you know what I'm saying, and left it alone. But I'm pretty sure they're remaking the Suicide, you know, reinventing, whatever, re whatevering. But whatever, I'm not gonna fucking cancel culture them. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be dope. I'm excited for it. Um, Thor 4. I know it's not called Thor 4, but the new Thor movie, that's fucking dope. Uh, Loki, I don't know if Loki's movie is going to be a movie or a Disney Plus series or what the fuck's going on there, but I'm excited for those. I, at first, I wasn't a fan of the Thor movies, the first two. Like, I saw them, but wasn't like, oh, this is awesome type shit. Until I saw the third one and thought, this is fucking awesome. And then rewatched the first two. Now I'm a super fan. Um, they're definitely awesome movies. And I can't wait for the fourth one. I can't remember. I saw what they were going to call it somewhere. No, no, that wasn't it. I, I don't know what they're going to call it. But regardless of what they call it, it's going to be fucking dope. And uh, Black Adam, the DC movie with The Rock. Then come out till late 2021, but fucking awesome for that too. I saw a little teaser trailer uh, 
which was super funny. They were like, oh, there's a missing seat and blah, blah. I'm sure you guys will fucking see it, but Black Adam, man. Uh, I'm super excited about that. They're just now starting to film and it won't be out till late 2021, but I'm fucking excited for it. And Avatar 2. Which uh, I'm sure they're just making because they want to try and beat out Avengers again. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, um, Avatar 2 should be dope. I didn't even see the first Avatar till like last year. <laughs> I was way behind on that. So, uh, but yeah, that's gonna be dope. So all those coming out in 2021, the rest of this list is horror movies. I don't know when they're coming out unless they say on the list, but uh, they're pretty dope. Um, and I wanted to mention them separately because I printed them out separately. And some of them I don't even know what the fuck, so I don't know if I'm excited for them or not. The Conjuring 3, which I am excited for. Can't wait for that. Shout out to Hannah Pandemonium for schooling me on the lore and the uh, what's going on in the Conjuring movies and what they're based on and shit. I super appreciate that because uh, now I'm a fan and can't wait for the third one to come out. There's one called uh, The Witches. And it's uh, produced by Guillermo del Toro, which is one of my favorites. You know, everything he touches is gold. And it's got Anne Hathaway in it. And it's got Chris Rock in it. So apparently it's going to be a horror slash fantasy slash comedy movie. So excited to see what's up with that one. Halloween Kills, of course, with Jamie Lee Curtis and Anthony Michael Hall. Can't wait for that one. Halloween 2021, I believe, is when they're coming out. October 16th. Maybe 2020. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on it, but excited for that one. Can't wait to see that. Uh, there's a Grudge reboot coming out. Produced by Sam Raimi, I think is how they pronounce his last name. He's the shit. He did all the fucking Evil Deads back in the day and shit. And he's just one of my favorite producers slash directors. Pretty sure he's directed a few things. Um... Underwater starring Kristen Stewart. I just saw the trailer for this the other day. We just dropped it. And Kristen Stewart's a super hottie, so I'm ready to see this one. But it looks like a uh, PG-13 rated horror movie. So who knows if it'll be good or not. Don't quote me on that, but worth a mention, I guess. Uh, some shit called Gretel and Hansel. <laughs> Which is a horror movie, apparently, so that could be dope. Uh, they need to make, not Leprechaun, but you know, them little dolls from the 80s, early 90s movies. Pet, puppeteer, puppet master, puppet master. They need to remake that or, or make a new one for sure. Uh, Fantasy Island starring Michael Pena. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but Michael Pena is the shit fucking awesome actor, so I can't wait for that shit, uh, The Invisible Man, I have no idea about that, but it's starring Elizabeth Moss, I think it should be about, you know, The Invisible Man, <laughs> A Quiet Place 2, which we kind of already talked about, but John Krasinski's directing, um, that'll be dope, some weird movie called Antlers and Antebellum, <laughs> coming out. Uh, Halloween Kills. I don't know about Halloween Ends. I haven't heard anything about that. When it's coming out or what. But probably Halloween of 2021 or 2022. Whatever that may be. Um, so that'll be dope. Anyway. That's a lot of fucking movies. To, that's a lot of info on movies to take in. But. I'm excited for every single one of them. It's going to be fucking dope. Um, so yeah, check them all out, be ready for it all, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man, once again, shout out to all the sponsors, Andrew B, Lisa G, Brian and Holly Teeters, DJ Mad Hatter, Matt Bogner, thank you guys so much, tell your friends to get a sponsorship, everybody who hasn't sponsored yet, it's super fucking easy to sign up. 
five bucks is is the lowest it goes. It, there's uh, super different tiers. Um, you get shout outs. Uh, you get promotion for your social medias. Um, there's all kinds of shit on there. If you want to promote a show, you want to promote your your group, your music video. I got all kinds of options on there, and you get shout outs every fucking episode, and and it helps out the the bone cast more than you know. You know what I'm saying? It keeps this shit running, keeps it going. Super fucking dope. Uh, go to theBoneCast.com. Everything's there, man. The the link to the Amazon page, the new Amazon Bones Dub Amazon page, where you can get free trials, discounts, products that I recommend personally that all have to do with the Bonecast. It's not just random bullshit. Um, there's Rick and Morty shit. There's Funko Pops on there. Uh, gaming systems and games, controllers, freshness. Um, sign up for the free trial of Amazon Prime. If you're not already a Prime member, now's the time to get your free trial. And I got one for you for free, 30 days right now on theBoneCast.com. Go to theBoneCast.com, sign up for that. Do some shopping if you want on the link below that. Um, you know, I know all you guys are collectors. Go collect some Funko Pops through my links. <laughs> it helps out a lot, man. Everything goes back to the bone cast and making the podcast better and ever than before, you know? Which you can tell, we're already doing way better. It's fucking awesome. Thank you so much, man. Sponsors, donations, uh, uh, people who buy the merch representing, you know what I'm saying? I got new merch coming. Um... Stream Wars shits. A new Stream Wars t-shirt coming up for all you Disney Plus fans. I got a super dope one coming. Uh, I'm talking about rebuilding the web store and to incorporate uh, all new colors and sizes and better shipping. So it's no longer like, where's my shit? It's like, oh, there's my shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Better, faster shipping. Uh, fucking... Follow me on all social media at B O N E Z A M B. I'm I'm like 20 followers away on Instagram from 10,000, which I know is not a lot for a fucking rapper slash artist, whatever. But it's a lot to me, man, and it means a lot. So help me get to that 10,000, and I'll do a giant giveaway. I'll give away A and B shit, bone cash shit, bone stub stuff, uh, uh, fucking ultra prize packs. All that freshness. I'm going to do a big fucking giveaway when I make it to 10,000. So help me get 20 more followers and get to that point. And, uh, and of course, more. You know, got to keep it moving. Um, same with the uh, subscribers on the YouTube channel. Click below on the subscribe and the, and the bell. Whatever the YouTubers say. Um, subscribe. When we get to 3,000 subscribers, I'll do a giant giveaway again. Uh, hit the bell so you know when I upload the new videos and the extra special videos. Become a sponsor and you will get extra special exclusive videos that nobody else sees but sponsors. Same with photos, uh, personal messages from me and, and other artists and uh, all kinds of shit, man. Um, so yeah, thebonecast.com, thebonecast.com, thebonecast.com. Go now. There's time right now. Go now. <laughs> I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, it was a long one, but uh, we had a lot to talk about. It was fucking great, though. I love, I love spending this time with all of you viewers, and uh, it means the world to me to keep the Bonecast running, man. One of my favorite things to do, and... Uh, you know, I can't wait to uh, return the favor with all this new shit. Thank you guys so much, man. I, I super fucking appreciate it. Um, Theboncast.com. <laughs> go get you a free trial of uh, Amazon Prime. It's definitely worth it. And go shop on uh, the Bones M Amazon page for super freshness. Super fucking freshness. And uh, with that free trial of your Amazon Prime that you get from Boncast.com, Go watch the Astronomicon documentary. It's super fucking dope, too. I must have watched it like four or five times already. And, uh... Hashtag A and B at Astro 3. 
Fuck those lawnmowers. They already been by here several times. Insane. Anyway. So yeah, that's it, man. I fucking love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Go to thebonecast.com, get your hookups. Follow me on all social media and get your hookups. And uh, we'll see y'all for the Christmas special next week with a super special guest with a super special announcement and a New Year's special the week after that with a super special guest and a super special announcement from them as well. It's going the fuck down, yo. I can't fucking wait. Thank you for watching once again. Uh, if you're going through some hardships and times, which the holidays bring sometimes, just keep your head up, keep it moving. Shit you're worried about now won't matter in the future because the future is bright, as uh, my boy Chris D'Elia would say. Mm, future's too bright. Love y'all, man. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Much love from Bones Dub. Peace.